Once upon a time, a hen told the most dreadful story ever told. It was so terrible, it made the other hen's feathers stand on end. It's quite true. But let's start at the beginning. One evening, a white feathered hen was grooming herself and plucked a tiny loose feather out. The more I pluck, the prettier I'll get, she joked, for she was a jolly hen. And then she fluffed up the rest of her feathers, settled down on her perch, and fell fast asleep. But one hen who sat nearby overheard her. She was a rather stupid and noisy bird, and she thought that the little hen was serious. Hopping off her perch, she went and clucked the news to the other hens. It was the juiciest gossip she'd heard all week. Did you hear that? There's a hen here who plans to pluck out all her feathers to look more beautiful. If I were a rooster, I would despise her. Above the hen house was an ancient oak tree. Inside it lived a family of sharp-eared owls who heard every word that the foolish hen had said. They rolled their big round owl eyes in horror. Did you hear what that hen said who did the mother owl? One of the hens has become so crazy that she sits and plucks her feathers out while the rooster watches. Little owls shouldn't hear such dreadful things, the father owl warned. He told the little birds to cover their ears, but it was too late. They rolled their eyes and flapped their wings at the shocking news. The mother owl was determined to share the shocking news with her neighbors. I must go tell the pigeons, she hooted. They won't believe it. So she swooped across the road to the pigeon house, where all the pigeons were nesting down for the night. She told them all about what she'd heard from the hen house. It's quite true. She must be freezing. The pigeons were just as scandalized by the rumor. They flew into the farmyard to tell the rest of the poultry about the vain hens. Coo, they squawked. The hens in the hen house are plucking out all their feathers to attract the rooster's attention. The rooster heard this just as he was waking up. He was still half asleep, but the news was enough to shock him into action. He flew up onto the fence to proclaim the day's news. Cock-a-doodle-doo, he crowed. Three hens have died of a broken heart, all for the sake of a rooster. They've plucked all their feathers out. What a dreadful tale. He crowed so loud that a family of bats overheard him. They swung down from the belfry and began their own broadcast. Tell it everywhere, they shrieked. The hens clucked and the owls hooted. The pigeons cooed and the rooster squawked. The whole farmyard echoed with the scandal of the vain, feather-plucking hens. And the story was carried from hen house to hen house, from farm to farm, right across the country. He'd finally arrived back at the very same place it had started. There are five hens heartbroken over a rooster who have plucked out all their feathers to show who had lost the most weight. Then they pecked one another to death to the shame of their families. What vain and silly birds they are. Can you believe it? The jolly white hen who had lost the tiny feather clucked her disapproval. She didn't even recognize her own story. What a dreadful tale. I despise such hens, but their story should not be hushed up. It should be published in the newspapers and serve them right. 
And so the story was printed in the newspapers and known all over the kingdom. Everyone marveled at the silly hens, so vain that they would pluck their own feathers out. And that's how one tiny feather can grow to become five hens. It's quite true 